Hi, Peter Bernstein here at Cloud Expo on the show floor uh, in the beautiful Javits Center in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm here with Corey Isaacson, who's the CEO and CTO of Code Futures. Mm -hmm. And we're here to talk today about Agile Data. So Corey, tell us a little bit about the company and tell us what Agile Data really means. Great. Well, we're one of the uh, early innovators in uh, database scalability technology. We've been doing this longer than just about any other company in the field, and uh, we've had a very successful product in the past, and uh, now we have a total uh, next level product called Agile Data. So let's talk a little bit about what agility means to you. So basically, databases are typically looked at as really static infrastructures, and they're very, very inflexible in how you deal with them, and it creates a huge amount of extra work for application developers, plus things get slow and things don't really do what people need. With an agile infrastructure, you basically can do real-time processing of the data and then get the data into the exact format that you need for the application, uh, really at any scale. So talk to me a little bit about the importance of real-time, because that's, that's really where the world seems to be going right now. Um, What's different about the way that your agility is from, from uh, everything else that's going on in the marketplace right now? Essentially, what, uh, what people want to do is they want to see what's happening right now in their organizations. It doesn't do you a lot of good to, if you're doing marketing, for instance, and you want to contact a customer who's doing something on your website, you want to contact them now. You don't want to do it a week from now. That's not going to work. So you need to be able to have a real-time picture of what's actually going on so that you can actually respond to it with different kinds of events or real-time dashboards. Um, there's all kinds of things that really matter that way. Um, but even if you have just transactional processing systems, you need to handle things in real time also because you need to be able to get the information um, into the hands of whoever needs it to be able to process an order or do any of those kinds of things. So it really is a real time flow that we really can, can support. And talk about um, the generation of the information for business intelligence purposes, analytics, kinds of reports people see, and maybe walk us through a little bit about what the typical dashboard is. Yeah. So what we can do is we can take data from pretty much any source. So it could be from files, it could be other transactional systems, really anything that people want, system data, internet of things, you know, any of those things. We basically can take that and transform it into aggregate structures. So we can pre-aggregate information into the format that you need for reports. We can put it into information that makes it, uh, and formats that make it easier to query for specific use cases. So if uh, one part of the application needs to use the data one way and another needs to use it another way, we can do both of those no problem. So I'm going to let you give a little pitch for, we're, we're here with a noted author. In fact, he's got a new book coming out. So I'm going to give you a little pitch for the book and, and tell people why they should buy it. Great. I have a new book coming out. It's called Understanding Big Data Scalability. It's an ebook that's going to be out from Prentice Hall in uh, July. And so we're very excited about it. And uh, anyway, we announced that at the, the show as well. So big data is coming your way, and you need to know how to handle it. And Code Futures is one of the great ways to do it. Thanks a lot and have a great show. Thank you.